How's it going everybody? It's Robin here and this is my channel Oracle Rising so welcome here. Um, just wanted to welcome all of you new subscribers. I know that a lot of you are coming over from Aries Fire Tarot because you're sort of on your ascension path, maybe feeling a little bit lost on your dark night of the soul journey. So thanks for being here guys and I hope that I'm able to help you out um, in some way and if there's anything you guys want me to talk about just let me know you can drop me a comment or um, my email address is in the description box so anyway um, yeah guys welcome so I really wanted to talk about earth angels today and give you some signs of an earth angel so in my mind I always thought of earth angels as like really good friends or you know family members that just come in and do good for you or strangers that do good for you but there's a little bit more to it than that so let's talk about this for a minute so an earth angel is an actual angel and they're born into human form and they live out a human life so and they're probably not aware that they're angels i gotta go on a quick pause here yo Okie dokie. So, and they're just not aware that they're angels. You know, they're here and they're born into human families. They might not be the best families. Um, you know, they might not be the most prosperous. They could really have struggles throughout their lives, just like anybody else. Um, and then what happens with an earth angel is they're kind of, they have an inner timer and it, it dings off um when it's time for them to start their their real angel mission so i wanted to give you guys some signs that you could be dealing with an earth angel um because i feel like i've run into them every now and again um they're here to transmit love and light and kindness and to help people on their journey they're angels right they're really angels they're they're not I want to say just humans but do you know what I mean they're from the angel family and they choose to come down here to complete a mission so um, and as I was reading there's an extensive list you can find all kinds of different information when you're doing searches on this stuff so um, I shortened the list up so and I was like so many of these things apply to me and I'm not saying I'm an angel by any means but Mm, you never know so sensitivity to city living this is one of the things that really jumped out at me I uh, city living is just horrendous you know and because I'm an empath also it can be very overwhelming but um, and this could apply to you guys too you could be earth angels or um, light warriors light workers you know you could be in any of the family of light warriors a star seed and that could be why you feel lost too. So anyway, um, and finding crowds overwhelming. Honestly, guys, the only time I don't find crowds overwhelming is when I'm at a concert. And it's got to be a concert that I'm enjoying. Otherwise, I just feel like, oh, like I'm, I'm going to explode. You know, especially if it's on transit. You ever see that episode of Seinfeld where the, the subway stalls and Elaine loses her mind? If not, like, look for that clip. On YouTube because it's absolutely hysterical and that's absolutely how I feel about crowds um, so this one is really intriguing that earth angel earth angels tend to look younger than their biological age and I found that really intriguing um, you know and I think of these angel movies that I've seen before um, you know Michael which was amazing and then um, City of Angels which I just loved uh, and I feel a really strong angel presence around me, especially when I call them in and especially when I do tarot card readings. So, um, but they've never manifested physically in front of me. I probably would have some sort of cardiac event if that happened. But let me know if you guys have ever seen an angel manifest in front of you physically. I think that would be amazing. Okay, and this one is also very intriguing. Um, there's a possible... Oh, I got my reminder going off here on my laptop, guys. Um, let me dismiss it. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, um, a possible history of addiction in the bloodline. So I'm not sure if Earth Angels intentionally choose difficult families to grow up in, but if that's a trait 
or a sign of an earth angel i mean that's a pretty huge one it's really hard to deal with that and i was actually you know let's just say my family experienced that and so did i to some degree so to some degree but anyway that's a whole nother video um so I found that one really interesting. I mean, if, if I had the choice of whose family I was gonna be born into, I probably wouldn't wanna pick one where the family has addiction because addiction can tend to lead to abuse. But anyway, um, so I found that was really interesting. And this one, let me know if it resonates with you guys, especially if you're feeling like you're lost and you don't want to ask for help. Because one of the, the bullet points that I found that really popped out was being worried about irritating others and not wanting to ask for help because you don't want to appear like a burden and you guys are probably resonating with all of these points here so you could really be on the team of light that is here to help out um the planet move from 3d to 4d to 5d so you know if you're recognizing parts of any of these points in yourself you could very well be an earth angel so um being gifted artistically or creatively which i love i mean there's angels are just beings of pure love and light so how do they express that other than being creative you know and maybe they sing or dance and there's just this really inspired creative flow about them so now I have something in my eye, which is nice. Okay, so, and this one I really loved. The ability to look beyond problems to see the solution. So many people focus on problems and the negativity and, you know, they just are stuck there after that. And then they don't know what else to do except become keyboard warriors where they're pounding out meaningless statements of hate or like just complaining and getting together to complain with other people and all that does is expand negativity and negative thinking um, and attract more people like that which is why you get these ugly mob situations that are happening um, and I, I want to say specifically in the US because that is what we see because I'm in Canada um, you know and we see a lot of that and I'm not gonna say that Canada is exempt from that because I've seen some pretty ugly things in Canada too but I really steer clear of stuff like that um, because again, I don't like crowds and I don't like ne negativity. So um, I think all of us have been touched by earth angels or angels or you know your guardian angels and there's so many different kinds of angels and I did a really big long um, expose, I guess, on angels on my other channel on Aries Fire Tarot. like. Um, and how they related to all these other things so you can start really noticing when angels are around you Because if you're on an ascension path and if you have chosen to come to this channel To you know receive any sort of guidance or inspiration or just you know a, a pick you up or whatever You're probably being touched by angels more than you're aware of so you can check that out on Aries fire tarot and I the link is in the description box for you guys. So I just wanted to really talk quickly about Earth Angels because I was really moved to do it. I was inspired to talk about them. So I must have gotten tapped on the shoulder by one angel or another. But anyway, guys, I hope this was interesting. And if this sounds like you, I wouldn't doubt that you're an Earth Angel, you know? So anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up, you guys. And that reminder that was going off on my laptop was to take my dog to day camp. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I just want to send you guys love and many blessings and, you know, take care. Bye for now. Bye.